This comparative analysis will be focused on to what extent do sci-fi post-apocalyptic films use common thematic elements, specifically focusing on children of men and the road. First, what are sci-fi post-apocalyptic films? Sci-fi post-apocalyptic films are usually dystopian or horrific futures in which Earth's technological civilization is collapsing or has already collapsed. This downfall of society usually occurs with some apocalyptic event. These can be based on things like runaway climate change, a man-made event like a nuclear holocaust or resource depletion, a pandemic, or much more imaginative events like a zombie apocalypse, an alien invasion, or a cyber attack. There has been a surge of post-apocalyptic films since the early 1990s, and they've progressively gotten more popular. A paper written by Christopher Schmidt, a professor at the City University of New York, goes into great detail about this phenomenon. Schmidt notes that while the world goes to waste for future generations, we distract ourselves from disaster by passively watching it as entertainment. Schmidt is basically saying that instead of accepting our problems and our influence on the issues Earth is facing, we as a society would rather ignore our responsibilities and instead create these wild fantasies to keep us focused on something else. The two films we will be looking at today are The Road and Children of Men. The Road is a film about a father and his young son who are walking south towards the coast, where there's hopefully a more hospitable environment for the duo to live. Set several years after an unknown cataclysmic event, the world is gray and is becoming grayer as things continue to die. At the same time, there are earthquakes and these huge forest fires which are destroying the environment that surrounds them. The father has taught his son that there are two types of people, good people and the bad people. As they head south in hopes of finding civilization, they struggle with fending off the nomadic cannibal tribes that continue to stay near them. Children of Men is based on a dystopian future where humans are no longer capable of reproducing. For the past 18 years, nobody has been able to have children. The film follows a lowly government bureaucrat named Theo, who was approached by a terrorist organization for his ability to get transit papers for a young immigrant woman named Key. Theo eventually discovers that Key is pregnant and ends up vowing to take her wherever she needs to go so that the human race will continue to go on. Now both films use similar thematic elements. The main thematic elements used are hope, sacrifice, and faith. On top of this, several religious symbols are prevalent throughout both films. So, how is hope symbolized in both films? Hope is defined as the want of something to happen or to be true. It often develops out of the messiness of life and amid suffering. In The Road and in Children of Men, hope is seen throughout both films as a driving factor that allows the protagonist to continue pushing on even in the darkest of moments. In both films, hope is found in children. For the father in The Road, his son continuously maintains a childish sense of wonder about the world. His son is like a light that guides him through the darkness that surrounds the father's life. In Children and Men, Theo finds hope in the immigrant woman he helps protect, specifically the unborn infant that she carries. Hope is found in that child as her child is the hope and the future of all humanity. Jesus Christ. Kate! Do me! Kate! Are you alright? She wanted him to know she has the right. Of course she has. When you're ready, come inside. Everybody's all right. She was pregnant. Now you know what's at stake. But she's pregnant. Yeah, I know. It's a miracle, isn't it? The next thematic element we're going to be looking at is sacrifice and how it is shown in both films. In both films, a sacrifice occurs specifically with the protagonists of our films. In The Road, the audience watches as the father slowly dies while fighting to keep his son safe. After being shot with an arrow and realizing that he can't walk any farther, the duo settle and make a uh, makeshift camp out on the beach. As he dies, the father tells his son to remember the things he taught him.
In Children of Men, Theo is able to protect He and take her to a ship operated by the Human Project. The Human Project is an organization working to understand the cause of human infertility. But by the time they get to safety, Theo dies due to a gunshot wound and ultimately sacrifices himself so that He can remain safe. I'm bleeding. Jesus shit, I'm bleeding. No, 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 I'm bleeding me. everywhere. It's me. What? You got me. Bad. No. I'm fine. Keep her close, Key. Whatever happens, whatever they say, you keep her close. It's gonna be okay. Feel? The final question we are going to answer regarding thematic elements is how faith and religious symbols are shown in both films. In the road there aren't any clear religious symbols at first, however, faith is shown clearly through a father. The father believes that once he dies his son will be able to survive long after he is gone. The fire which is found throughout the film in various scenes including this end shot goes above just being a fire. Instead the fire symbolizes the father's love and faith, this fire aka this faith helps guide the boy to find a new family to continue surviving with. Very literally, the family that finds the boy only happens because of the fire that the father left. Glad to see you. We were following you. Did you know that? But we saw what you would be off of. In Children of Men, faith plays a crucial role. It's stated that throughout the film that God brings life and fertility. And so since there's no longer any fertility, God is punishing humanity in some way. Key's miraculous pregnancy reminds the audience that there's always some reason to keep faith in even the darkest of times. When Theo initially finds Key, it's incredibly reminiscent to the nativity scene. She's seen naked, standing inside a barn near animals, among other things. In conclusion, both films use similar thematic elements. Because they're both sci-fi post-apocalyptic films, they have similar structures in their plots. There's always going to be some symbol of hope that keeps the characters pushing through their struggles. Often, the protagonists are going to have to end up making the ultimate sacrifice so that the ones they love can keep pushing on. Often, faith is always present in these types of films, even if it's not explicitly religious.